Good day, folks. It's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. We're going to take a little bit of time today. We're going to look at Python. I want to explain why bother. <laughs> I get that a lot. I'm not a programmer. I'm a networking guy. Come on, suck it up, buttercup. So the thing with Python and any programming language, I've also used, I've done them in Perl. I've done simple Windows batch files. It doesn't matter. Just some simple coding is always helpful when you troubleshoot or want to do something specific. And you don't need a full-blown network management system installed. You just want to do something quick and dirty. I call those tactical tools, right? Just things to get things done. So this is one of them. So I'm going to use Python here. You just go get it. It's free. You download it and you install it. Uh, and I wanted to measure DNS response time because I am having, well, client's having some issues. And I want to prove to him uh, what DNS response time does for your overall performance. It's the same for any of the named protocols, LDAP, WINS, it doesn't matter, right? It's the same thing. If the name protocol is held up or it takes a long time to resolve, uh, drop packets, that kind of stuff, then everything seems slow. So I wanted a simple little utility that will do a DNS name resolution and report the response time, okay? So this time I'm using Python. I've also done this with uh, PowerShell as well. So it's, it's entirely up to you how you want to do it. So let's jump right into it. Here's python.org. You go to downloads. You go get whatever OS you want. Doesn't matter. Uh, as part of it, I always get the IDE or the editor for the actual um, application or programming language. And this is what it looks like. So I'm going to put this code um, in the article. You just copy and paste it. I don't. I don't think I can actually post the actual file, but if I can, I will. It's just a simple, simple little script. There's some comments in here. So you see this little uh, pound sign, right? That means there's a comment. And 99% of this you can find on the internet. It's it's not that bad. If you've ever coded or, or done a router configuration, a switch configuration, this is not that difficult. You just got to sit down and focus for all of five minutes and you'll get the hang of it. Now, the only thing is, uh, at the top here is import, 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 import. You have to make sure that you have these modules um, or your installation supports these. And if not, you simply do a PIP install and DNS resolver or whatever you want to do. But it will tell you that. If you try to run it and you're missing one of them, it'll tell you that, right? It'll also tell you if they're out of date and all that good stuff. Okay, so I'm going to resolve to DNS name thetechfirm.com. I want 100 measurements. So I'm going to do this 100 times. You can get fancy, drop the high, drop the low, and all that nonsense. Don't care. Uh, and then I just put some simple little notations on here when it starts running, and it's going to write to a file. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. I don't, I don't want to get into it too much. So here's the way it looks. Bring up my command prompt. So I, I ran it, and this is an example of me running it. You just type dns resp time.py, which is the name, what I called it. You can call it anything you like. And it comes up, says Tony's DNS response time utility. Performing name lookups for the techfirm.com 100 times with a one second delay. And that's kind of important. I'm going to show you that in a moment. And then it says testing the tech firm and it spouts this stuff out on the screen, but it's also writing it to a file, right? So the file is right here, right? DNS response times.csv. Uh, you open it with um, any tool you want. You can even write a script that will take the stuff and do something else with it, whatever you want, okay? go nuts but the point is uh, now I can actually observe DNS response time right and it's a simple utility just copy paste run the code go to town and if it's your first time in Python welcome to the club have a good day folks bye for now I almost forgot the Wireshark angle so the code says I'm gonna send a DNS name resolution every one second so I thought, let me capture these packets to make sure that my script or Python or the modules are doing what I thought they would do. And I ran a quick trace. And sure enough, I could see one second, 0.997, close enough, one second, 998, 998, one second, 997. So my code, which I did have for every one second interval, is in fact sending out a query every one second. I do not want to slam the DNS server every millisecond because that's not the point of this. So it's important that whatever scripts you write, you go and just check it out on the wire before you unleash it in the wild.